Come here, come here. So for today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys some of my all-time favorite things that you can make to eat first thing in the morning, um, specifically during the school year. Most of these recipes require minimal ingredients, very little preparation, and are also really good for on the go. I have so much to show you in this video, so I'm not gonna ramble too much more, but I also did just wanna mention to make sure you're following my Instagram. I have been posting on there so much this summer, and I would love for you guys to keep up with that. As always, if you guys have any other back to school requests or questions, go ahead and just leave them below, and I would love to help you guys out with that. Alright, and without any further ado, let's just go ahead and get started. Alright, so first I have to show you guys these breakfast burritos. Now I'm sure you've all seen these in like the frozen section at the grocery store, but seriously, y'all need to give these a try. I'm starting by whisking an egg and cooking that on medium. And then as you can see, there are so many things that you can put in these, but for mine, I like to just do some cheese. I put that down on a warm tortilla and then I put the egg on top which usually melts the cheese, and then I will just top it with whatever. For this specific one, I just did spinach and bacon, but seriously, you guys can just use whatever you have. If you're looking for something filling that has a lot of variety to it, then I would definitely suggest trying these out. Now, if you guys have been watching my DIY videos for a while, then you'd know I just have a thing for quesadillas. I don't know what it is, but I just love them. So when I saw this online, I had to give it a try, and now I have to share it with you guys. It's pretty self-explanatory, but I'm just spreading a thin layer of peanut butter down on a tortilla. I'm topping it with some sliced bananas and strawberries, and then I'm putting the other tortilla on top and just letting that cook on medium. So next time that you're feeling down. Quesadillas have always been one of my favorite to-go snacks because once they're cooled down, it actually all sticks together, so you can just um, put it in like a little to-go box like this and take it with you um, and they taste amazing warm or cold whichever this specific one tastes amazing all right so this next breakfast is obviously something you'd usually have to shell out a little bit of extra time for but I want to show you guys how awesome these mini freezable pancakes are I used to babysit for this family that would always have the little Eggo mini frozen pancakes and so one day I was like wow I can actually just make these so every once in a while I'll just make a batch of mini pancakes and then just keep them in a ziploc bag and then that way in the morning you can just pop them in the microwave for about a minute and you'll be good to go remember last year I went vegan for about four months and one of my all-time favorite everyday foods was quinoa and I feel like a lot of people don't realize how versatile of a food this is what's awesome about quinoa is that it's an excellent source of protein and then it's also super filling so one of my favorite go-to breakfasts for the past year has been just taking a half a cup of quinoa and adding some fresh fruit to it and also how cute is this little to-go container that I've been using oh, I love it I know how typical this next breakfast I have to show you guys is, but I wanted to include it to spread awareness to anybody that has not tried this yet. If you're looking for something light yet filling for breakfast, I would definitely try baking an egg in an avocado. The total actual prep needed to make this was not even 60 seconds. And then what I'll usually do is just take a shower or get ready while it's baking in the oven. And if you're one of those people that feels kind of iffy about avocado, you need to try this dish. The egg and the avocado pair perfectly together, and seriously y'all, all you need is two ingredients. My final idea for you guys is something that you've most definitely probably tried before, but it's more of just a quick tip. You can make your own grab and go oatmeal packets by measuring oats and dried fruit into different little baggies. So I'm like the type of person that can't go through a whole box of apple oatmeal because chances are I'll want to try something new. So if you struggle with something similar, you can make your own little custom baggies. And since everything will already be measured out, it'll make getting ready in the morning even easier. So that is basically it. Thank you guys so so much for watching this back to school video as I briefly mentioned at the beginning of this video If you have any other back to school video requests or just any requests in general Please leave them below because I'm trying really hard to put up as much content on this channel as possible for you guys And don't forget to check out my Instagram because I'm constantly posting little sneak peeks of videos or just fun stuff that I've been getting into this summer My username on there is season beauty 97, but yeah guys that is basically it Thank you all so so much for watching this video and also thank you for your endless support and just for watching this video if you're not subscribed already definitely hit that subscribe button so you can get more content from me i love y'all so much and i will talk to y'all later bye